this next one was beautiful. Jack De La Maddalena against Pete Rodriguez. I felt kind of bad for Pete Rodriguez because he was only four fights into his career. It was a bit early for him. He's a bit undersized for the weight class as well. Most likely, if he continues with his career, he's going to be down at 155. I think he's, what, 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, and he just he just didn't look like... Oh, he's 5'9". Okay, a little bit short, a little bit taller. But he just he just didn't look like a, like a welterweight. He looked is like he 5'9", or is he like a shared dog? Five well, nine. I mean, that's, that's true. He's a topology 5'9", <laughs> which could be 5'7". He just didn't look very tall, and he didn't look, he didn't look comfortable in there. He, he looked like he had good hands. Like he had sharp boxing, but he just, he didn't look like he had the, uh, I don't know, the experience that uh, Della Madeleine has got. I mean, I know he's only had, what, 13 fights now, but he was a prospect coming out of Australia, uh, yeah. Madalena was. Beautiful finish. It was also like, I just felt it wasn't, with him, it wasn't just about throwing punches. It was about drawing him into mm -hmm. punches or countering. And it was, it was a lot more than just like striking it's just then going out and being like <laughs> let's yeah. just throw bombs at each other it was it was i'm gonna like uh draw like draw you in with this and i'm gonna counter you with this or, or it was just yeah beautiful yeah it was a lot more technical than i expected from someone with a nose that's shaped like that yeah it, that's bad you, well you you said when we were watching that might be the worst that you what you say cauliflower nose that yeah. might be the worst one you've seen uh, when we were watching uh, Nigel Ben fights yesterday, there's mm -hmm. a guy that he fought, and I'm sure his name's O'Hara. And as they, as Nigel Ben was beating him up in the first round, the commentators were talking about the guy's nose. It's it was completely flat. O'Hara, I'm sure his name is. I'll look it up. There should be like a like an equal name for it. Because what was it, Mike Perry? <laughs> yeah, Mike Perry's nose. Was <laughs> his bad. nose went like that. There should be like like cauliflower <laughs> ear. There should be like a type of nose. A type of nose, yeah, like, like 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 jogger's nipple, but for MMA. <laughs> You're not jogger's nipple, is no. No. Oh well, yeah. See, that's a true thing. Tennis <laughs> elbow, golfer's elbow, they're things. Yeah. You know. But like a vegetable and nose. Okay, so what vegetable <laughs> would it be? <laughs> what? <laughs> Turnip nose. <laughs> it's gonna have to yeah. be something small and smashed, isn't it? Yeah. Mashed potato <laughs> nose. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, it was, it was, it was pretty bad, but it wasn't as bad as this guy's. I'm sure his name was O'Hara. O'Hara. O'Hana. It was bad. I mean, it was like, they were, so they were talking about it in the first round and they were saying, yeah, he's, he's decided that when he retires from boxing, he's going to get, uh, his nose rebuilt. Like, holy shit. There was a lot of rebuilding to do. Why would so, you bother? Why some you people, bother? it makes like a huge difference. They go from like, ugh, to like, oh. <laughs> yeah but then other, other people just look weird because you're like that's that's not your nose though is it yeah when it when it's just a little bit like too tiny and sharp it's like okay <laughs> this is not disney yeah do you, do you have the picture of the guy what I'm i think i think jamie should pull it, it up yeah jamie. during this I'll, I'll, I'll find it and we'll drop it in the screen okay. so you can see what i mean he looks a bit like one of them ghouls off uh, fallout you should play fallout new vegas on the anyway Oh, I need Owen, I need Owen Oxley to get that reference. Okay, sorry. Oh. 